Do, 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 do. Hey, this is Alexey from Ace Five Studios, and I saw a question about play blasts and how to make you, how to see an animation that you are working with play in real time without having to render everything, because sometimes in the viewport you won't get the right speed. Now, this is probably not the best example, but here, if you press play, you might think this is the right speed, but if you press Shift V, we get these viewport settings, and you can turn on here frames per second. And you can see here, down, it says it's right now running at like 13 seconds, 13 frames, 12 frames a second, which is not realistic because the actual project will be 25 frames per second. By the way, if you can't see this here, you can control click and drag it and you can move it somewhere else and you can see what it's saying. So right now, these speeds are not actually accurate. Like these cars are moving way slower than what they would in your final render. So to see what actual speed of objects is in your scene, I mean, you can optimize the scene and try to figure out how to make things run at real time. But sometimes it's just impossible because you have so much stuff going on. So what you can do in Cinema 4D is you can make a play blast. The easy way to do that is just make sure you're in your regular render settings. Um, I have a feeling I'm in a, okay, I'm in a main take. And switch here to hardware OpenGL. You can turn off the save if you don't want to save. Turn on enhanced OpenGL, turn on shadows, SSAO, reflections maybe. Uh, you can even hook up the anti-aliasing a bit higher if you want. And an output, output put preview range and now when you hit render you will get this very fast render oops don't forget to change the resolution a bit lower because you want something like 600 maybe and hit render and it'll ask you if you want to save as you can see it's like a viewport render you still can see the camera and the splines but it renders very quickly see now it's finished and now when you press play you'll actually see the real speed of all your traffic because it's playing back at 25 frames a second and you can do this with any animation and this is you know when you want to send stuff for approval to clients and when you just want to see how your animation is going without having to render you know, all the gi and all the real shadows you do this it's called a play blast or hardware preview depending what software you come from and that's pretty much it that's my entire quick tip in three minutes of how to get hardware into that Cinema 4D. Don't forget to check out my website for more tutorials and rigs and other fun stuff.